Okay, it is time for another single colour challenge. We are headed back to the rainbow apartment today. And do you know what? I, I don't think this... Actually, I think it can get taller, but I don't think it should because it's actually getting quite unstable. But here we go. Welcome to LEV Toys. It is time for Too Much Orange. The Halloween version. Okay, all right, so this was your choice. This is your fault. <laughs> we are going to try making an orange build, which is Halloween themed. And I have got, oh, I, no, we've got some, we've got a few, well, we've got a couple of different shades of orange. So we've got, what have we got? We've got the dark orange, which is very obviously orange. We've got this like medium orange. And we've got some translucent orangey pieces too, which is good. We can mix it up with that. Now, just to show you how this differentiates from the yellow that we did before, this is the really light yellow and the normal yellow next to uh, the medium orange and the dark orange. It's got might be a bit hard for you to see on your screens, but they are very much different shades. So we're just going to use orange. <laughs> the orange shades of orange because it's an orange build all right so character we are putting together there aren't many orange outfits Ooh, i love this little skirt i absolutely adore this top so i think this is cutie patootie perfect for our orange character uh her head is i think this is tiana's head which is nice because her eyes are almost they're like an orangey brown hair pieces is a bit more tricky because most of these are costumes which we're going to use later for some trick-or-treating so this isn't really going to do but you know what we're still going to try them on anyway so we've got a crustacean -y head here like a big crab headpiece or a lobster headpiece in fact there's a couple of undersea themed orange ones I've got a plan I wonder who's gonna wear them for trick-or-treat <laughs> this is a puffer fish <laughs> so adorable what else we got we got heaps of different choices here we got like a Chinese Chinese bamboo hat which is very very cute this one here is from the legends of Chima it's a lion but it looks so derpy because the eyes don't quite line up. It's like a, it's like the mask you bought from the dollar store. <laughs> so budget mask. And the, a fox, fox one. So many costumes. Trick or treating. Here we come. But we got to do this build first. Uh, actual hair? No, we're not up to actual hair yet. We've got a giraffe headpiece, which I just adore. It actually doubles her in size. And the spots on it are orange, so I'm totally calling that one as an orange option but it's not for her today. The Batgirl hair is totally orange, but it's not, it doesn't fit the theme ideas that I have for this particular build. Hercules hair is really, really adorable. It's like a flippy pixie cut. I actually think it suits her. It looks really cartoony and cute, but it's not what I'm looking for. Uh, this one's, <laughs> this is like her head's been set on fire. That's like a pixie fairy thing. It's really hard to get off. Oh, there we go, I wiggled it off. This is Lena Luthor's hair from the DC Superhero Girls sets, and it looks great. Still not choosing this one. This one is Coco's hair, Lloyd's mum from the Ninjago movie. It's a bit too Asian in theme. It's not, once again, going to go with what we're looking for. This is really, really cute. This would be my option if I didn't have this cute little Scooby-Doo hairpiece. This is so perfect with the Alice band because... I'm kind of going with a Sabrina theme here. She's kind of going to be a witch. <laughs> I don't want to get there yet. All right, so we got some carrots. I want to make, <laughs> I want to make carrots with these little orange stalks. She's going to have a garden outside, a little front entryway, which has got her, her carrots and her pumpkins growing in it. It's autumn, right? It's, it's Halloween and we need to make an entryway for the trick-or-treaters to come to. So going to have some orange stalked carrots growing out here and oh, this heart shaped, yeah, this heart shaped plate here will help lift up and contour this otherwise flat area here. So it just makes it a little bit taller so that I can really, really want to put together a pile of autumn leaves, which have all been swept up into a pile. But I think the best that I can do is just stacking these orange leaves and having a few scattered around because I can't kind of make it into a pyramidy shaped thing with the pieces that I have. So I'm just going to stack them on top of each other and pretend it looks like a pile of autumn leaves all raked into a pile. There. <laughs> It's kind of convincing. Nah, it's totally unconvincing. But it looks good from the, from the top down. Doesn't look good from the front down. Pumpkin. We need a pumpkin. And in fact, we need a few a few pumpkins because this is a garden bed. It was her veggie garden. And we might just scatter a few more little autumn-coloured leaves and flowers just around 
we'll put that one down here. There we go. All right. So we've got a lovely autumn yard happening. Let's extend our base plate area here because we're going to actually turn this into another floor in our rainbow apartment. And I have to think about how we're going to do this. <laughs> we're going to cheat just a little bit. We're going to use these printed pieces with the autumn leaves on them as the backdrop for our garden. I know it's cheating, but there's orange on it, right? So we can totally get away with this. And second level of cheating, I need a door. I've got to have a door, like for doorbell for trick-or-treaters. And it's orange, even though it's in a white frame. And this is going to be the yard out here. And in here, we're going to have a little living area. So I've done a little bit of bending of the rules. I know you'll forgive me. I hope you'll forgive me. <laughs> but we do need a door. You can't trick or treat without a door. It's kind of useless. So let's build a wall up here to break up our yard from our living space. And we're not going to just make it solid orange. We're going to use some translucent pieces and put our door in here. And there's an extra plate up here that shouldn't be on here. Good. All right. Okay, and oh, 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 we've got this lovely mat from Mia's house. Perfect, it's orange. It just fits with the theme so beautifully. We need a door handle too, and that opens and shuts very nicely. Over here, we're going to put a jack-o'-lantern. Nice and easy, because this guy is orange. Phew. And on the inside, we can find one of these ready orange translucent pieces. Kind of doesn't show up very well on the screen. And we're going to need to pop it up by a single stud. Otherwise, it won't be able to attach to our base plate. Put it here right next to the door. And the jack-o'-lantern is ready for Halloween. All right, let's get... Oh, I forgot to name this girl. Let's call her Ginger. I think that works really well with her look. And over here... So Ginger's standing inside. We need... Oh, I want to use these balloons because they're orange. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that Ginger doesn't quite get the concept of Halloween. She's just is going to put up any old decorations. Or maybe Halloween's actually her birthday and these are birthday slash Halloween balloons. <gasps> oh, I can feel a story coming here. Now we're going to make sure we match, we match what's going on on the other side of the wall there with the colours. And if we put the balloons here, we can kind of offset them a little bit. There we go. Some perfect Halloween birthday balloons on one side of the door and the jack-o'-lantern on the other side. Okay, all right. This is a very inviting door to come and trick or treat at. Okay, up here we're going to put some orange foliage, some orange leaves. It's going to overhang the door here. And if we just pop them on top of these panels here, it looks like the leaves are growing out of the top of the tree trunks, as they do. This one here is going to have some extra Halloween decoration in them with these orange bat wings and a Halloween jack-o'-lantern hanging from it like that skull thing so if we push this stalk through here we can just kind of stack these and i'll see if i can get the wings to hang kind of straight look there we go that's gonna hang from the tree oh, i wish i could find a way to light this up actually i I, <laughs> I do know a way to light it up but i don't think i'll have a chance to do that for this particular build anyway for not this particular video maybe we should light it up later that would be so cool all right so we've got a bat winged jack-o'-lantern hanging from the trees here over the garden and i think the garden looks so beautifully halloween and birthday balloon themed <laughs> okay i think I think now that Ginger's coming through her door to check out her new front yard, I think now we can start working on her living space inside the house. So let's see. We'll line, line the walls with some of these translucent pieces. And there are actually some orange windows. Uh, we'll put some translucent pieces to kind of break them up because these orange windows are... Well, they're not my favourite windows, but they'll do to add windows to this piece. Mm, okay. Okay. In the corner, we're going to put some curve pieces to make a little side table, a table just inside the door. And this, this is going to be where she's keeping her trick or treat lollies in this cute little orange bowl. So for lollies, we can use these little, these little puffy ball things. Let's see how many I can fit in this plate. I think that's enough. I don't think, <laughs> I think two probably was enough, but three looks great. Here we're going to put a couch. It's going to be an overstuffed sofa, like from the 50s, because that matches Ginger's hairstyle and the, the kind of sabrina -y theme that I'm going for here. So overstuffed sofa is perfect. And you might actually recognize this couch if you have seen the build of the Friends sitcom set. This is the orange couch from that, but it has been squished in. So I've just made it smaller because the, the original one was big, like it's designed to fit three mini figures on it. And I only need this one to sit one mini doll. So I've made it squishy and it's such a cool design. We've got these rounded over bits here to make the overstuffed arms. 
we need a matching one for the other side. Well, not quite matching. It is a mirror image for the other side. So let me concentrate, make sure I put these in the right spot. And then we put the little, the little soft roundy ovary bits on the top. There we go. We've got our arms for our overstuffed sofa. <laughs> I can't even say that. And then we need to put all those roundy bits along the back. And then her sofa fits her style so well. It's a 50s style sofa. I'm very excited about how this is going. Put it here in front of the window and we'll put some translucent pieces underneath to stick it down nicely onto the base plate. I wish I could have some drapes for that window, but I'm just gonna have to, the window's just gonna have to do. We have to work with what we have. All right, over here, we're gonna create a portal. Yes, yes, a portal to the underworld, as you do on Halloween. <laughs> so Ginger is busy trying to open a portal to the underworld in the privacy of her own lounge room. And we've got some lava dribbling out of where the portal is going to go. Now, this awesome looking creepy face, which has enough orange on it that I can totally justify using this, is going to be... I want to try and secure it in here because this is going to be the portal and this is what we're going to be able to see through the portal. Uh, so if I use a hinge piece, that's going to attach onto our... Yep, all right, so that's good. That's going to fit in there and it's going to swing backwards when she can actually go through. And this, how are we going to secure this face behind? Well, this piece is very handy. I have no idea where this came from, but it's going to give me just the right angle to be able to put the face in behind our translucent orange dome. Now I just have to figure out how to attach it to our face. Hmm, face attaching. <laughs> okay, I, all right, so if I use one of these little cone pieces, then I can add a hook to it. It's not gonna be overly elegant, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna give us a decent enough hold. Oh yeah, I don't know that's, I don't think it's supposed to be secured like that, but it's, it's really secure. And now we've got the face like kind of just floating in space behind there. Oh, <laughs> that is epic. <laughs> okay, and it all is hinged so it can all be opened up for when she, like I said, goes through the portal. Now let's create our portal opening with these, these rounded pieces. And I wonder how tall I need to make this. Maybe, maybe another one up. So I need some of those little inward facing angle pieces because I don't have any more semicircle-y things. So that should up there, maybe down a little bit low. No, that's too low. Okay, so we're going to be putting that up there. Let's put a hook on this side because I want to add some flames. <laughs> some flames to our portal. <laughs> All right, that's actually quite wide. But that's, like I said, it's, we've just got to make do with what we have. Okay, all right. So this hook's getting one of these awesome flame pieces, which has got orange on the bottom and it progresses into a lovely pink as well. <laughs> this is really, really fun. And if I put another hook here, I could add another flame. This is not going to be symmetrical, but that's okay because it's just meant to add some nice big <laughs> scary looking flames to our portal. I think I like saying portal. We need to extend our area a bit here. So we're going to use this semicircle piece or half circle piece. Just going to make the wall. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe that goes down there and all right, that's good. So I'll put another translucent piece matching on the other side and an angled one to look like lava and this mat is gonna look really nice in her living room and it holds those two plates together. <laughs> it's really cute. Okay, all right, it's looking good. In this little corner, I wanna put another flame. Let's uh, let's let's sit this up just a little bit taller. <laughs> that is a nice looking portal. I think that's like the first class portal to the underworld. <laughs> it's looking really, really spectacular. Now let's get this wall up. I always need to backfill my spaces after I've put in the important pieces and then I go back and fill in anything else that I've left out. So the wall is important. Wall helps hold roofs up and keep, keep the atmosphere out of all of the climate and stops you from getting wet. Now, I think up here I could put, I might put a lamp up here. We'll see if I can put one in there. Oh, there is, I always get so excited when I find new pieces. There's the clock. This clock is like 10 minutes, well, eight minutes to 2 a.m. So this is a very important almost witching hour. Let's make the lamp because even a witch needs light to work by when she's summoning 
I don't know, demons from the underworld. I don't know whether she's summoning the demons. I just used a translucent piece here. I was just hoping nobody would notice if I babbled because I don't have, I don't have any orange pieces that look like that. And that's the way I can hold the lamp in. She needs a lamp. Otherwise the girl can't see. She definitely needs a lamp. She does. She needs a lamp. Nobody's going to argue me out of this. Okay, we are filling up our wall. We've got beautiful flames. We've got a scary looking face hanging in the portal there. And here she needs a coffee table. <laughs> of course she does. And on the coffee table, she has got, I know it says Ariel down the bottom, but this is her scroll that she's been following. It's like the magic spell to be able to open this portal. Oh, I missed a bit of lava over here. That's good. That's going to help hold our plates together. And this, I just, I've got to put this big fiery pink and orange flame over here and to do that I need another one of these pieces which is actually yellow Shh. it's yellow but nobody's gonna be able to tell Shh. so there's been a little bit of cheating going on here but I think I'm done with the cheating let's backfill our walls get everything up to the same height and we'll see how it all looks so oh. The candy's fallen everywhere. I think I overfilled the candy bowl, which is ridiculous because you can't have too much candy at, <laughs> at Halloween. Though I think I, I think I just heard my the mother part of me saying, "Yes, you can. There's too much candy. Eat an apple." Right. Concentrate on filling some walls up. Uh, okay, good. And we can now smooth over the top because we're going to be adding this to our apartment. And I've got these. I've got the the this middle orange here. Let's see it. I'm all out of smooth middle oranges. So I'm going to make these ones over here dark orange. And that's awesome. So here we go. She can come inside. Ginger can come inside. She can check out her scroll. See how she's going with her summoning of the demons opening the portal stuff. And she can consult with that face, that creepy looking face. <laughs> so you never know what people are doing behind those doors on Halloween. And... Now oh, is the moment of truth. Can we add this to the apartment without everything falling down? So where am I going to put it? Oh, I think I'm going to put it size-wise up here on top of the orange. I don't know that I can even get this high up. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Okay, so that should that should do nicely. There's not a whole heap of support for the pink floor going up above. There, so I'm going to put it off to the side a little bit. Uh, we'll just have to tilt that down a bit so that I can fit. Our flame needs a little bit of tilting. So it's going to be touching the pink floor above. Do you think Pinky McPink Pink is going to have some idea of what's going on on the floor below her? Ooh, we'll make sure everything's connected nicely. Uh, oh, I never noticed that sticker on there. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. So not a lot of support. Like I said, it's very wobbly up here, but there's there's this big nice overhang so I'm gonna add some more orange foliage to it and ta-da our orange apartment Halloween apartment is attached to the rainbow apartment building and this is now seriously wobbly I don't think we can add any more levels to this I think we would be courting disaster to do so but look at that we have an orange Halloween apartment and Ginger is in here doing dubious things <laughs> in her apartment. And I didn't even realize I kind of matched in the green with the... Oh, see, I told you it was wobbly. The green with the green pumpkin-y tops there. So that all ties in nicely with the green floor below. But check this out. Look who's come a-trick-or-treating first. Who might this be in her orange Halloween costume come a-trick-or-treating at Ginger's door? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Who <laughs> that might be in her relatively orangey costume. And I have got another video for you for Halloween. We are going to do orange themed trick or treating at Ginger's door. And the trick or treaters are going to try and distract Ginger from opening the portal to the underworld. But all their costumes have to be orange. So, hello challenge! Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video when it comes up, which will have to be very soon because Halloween's really soon. And I will see you, well I'll see you very soon, like I said. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind. Okay, I will see you then. Bye!